Pi Guy here. I'm going to show you how to do a simple script that you can run in a Chrome tab to uh, update your Pi, reboot it like once a week or whatever you feel like uh, having it set up as. So the first thing we need to do is we need to make a file. So we're just going to name it if I can spell commands.sh so we're just going to nano into that so once we're in here we're going to go ahead and add some things in here in order to do what we need to do I don't think my fingers want to work today so what we can do is we can add in things like, let's do an update, then we can do an upgrade. So we can type that in. And if you want, we can up, do an RPI update. Then we can clean things up. Let's do a, an auto remove. And let's do a clean. And if we want to, we can add in a reboot once this is done. So you can add and remove other things if you feel like. So once we're done, we could just let it go to that. Do a control X, Y, and enter if you're using nano. So now that we have our uh, file made, we need to make it executable. So we could do a sudo chmod plus x command commands.sh all right so now that that's done we can go into the current tab and we can do a dash e now once we're in here we can scroll down to the bottom and as you can see I went ahead and added my code in here because we're going to make a uh, directory for the uh, logs so we can make a log if you want if you don't want a log or of, of anything we can you could just remove this uh, line right here so you don't have to worry about doing a log but if you want you can change it now this is set up to run once a week 10 o'clock every Monday now if you want to you can change this here to once a month every whatever whatever you feel like you may want to do so we could just do another control X Y and enter to get out of that and the last thing we need to do is we can make a directory for our log so we can just do an, an MKDIR logs hit enter and now if we do an ls as you can see we have our file here for the commands and we have our directory here for the log and as you can see we don't have nothing under it so once that's done you can just do a simple reboot to make sure everything takes effect and uh, every Monday your Pi should do an update, an upgrade, a clean, a remove, and one more thing. You can, I think we added it in here. Then, yeah, it'll go ahead and reboot. Now, if you don't want to reboot, just remove reboot, pseudo reboot. So you can add and remove from this if you feel. So this is just a basic uh, setup that you can do so hopefully this helps out thanks for watching stay tuned for another one